Hey Sparky, Sparky. Oh no, he's sad. What's up Sparky? Oh, he was digging in the park again. You've been doing that a lot, haven't you? And what happened? He didn't find anything. Okay, well, that's quite normal, isn't it? Oh, but Horatio did. Oh, good. I'm glad Horatio found something. Was it like a treasure or a skateboard? No. He found a delicious bone. Whoa, Sparky, you must have been so pleased. Oh. Horatio didn't tell Sparky and he ate it all. Oh dear, I can see why that makes you a bit sad. Oh, Sparky says he's never gonna talk to Horatio ever again. Oh no, but Sparky, you guys are best friends and you always have the best time playing together. You don't want to. Hmm. Well, I think it's very good timing for you, Sparky, because we're actually gonna have a look at forgiveness in the session today. So maybe you can learn a bit about it. Let's go and have a look. Jesus told the crowds another parable to tell them what the kingdom of heaven was like and to teach them about God. He said, the kingdom of heaven is like a great king who wanted to sort out all his money with his servants so that no one owed each other anything. As he began, a servant who owed him 10,000 bags of gold was brought before him. He didn't have the money to pay the king back, so the king ordered that he and his wife and children be put into jail. But the man fell on his knees and begged the king for mercy, saying, Be patient with me, I will pay everything back. The king took pity on the servant and cancelled all his debt and let him go. On the way out of the palace, the servant bumped into another servant who owed him a hundred silver coins. The servant grabbed him, attacked him and began to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe me, now or else. But the other servant didn't have the money, and he fell on his knees before him and said, Be patient with me and I will pay back everything. But the first servant refused, and instead he had the other man thrown into prison until he could repay his debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were shocked and outraged, and they went to tell the king all about it. The king called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I cancelled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his king handed the servant over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. Jesus spoke to the crowd. This is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. This is because we have been forgiven by God and so we should forgive others too. Sometimes things just feel wrong. Like when you're at school and the teacher doesn't understand and punishes the wrong person. Or when everyone gets in trouble for something that just one person has done. Or when there's two people and one of them does something really kind and generous to the other one and the other one's just mean and awful. Now that's what happens in this story here. Just like when we listen to this story today, it feels so wrong. The people Jesus was telling the story to would have felt that as well, because it's just not fair. Because this first servant is forgiven and doesn't have to pay back 10,000 bags of gold. That is so much money. It is ridiculous. The king is so generous and so forgiving to let him off for that. But then the first servant finds the other servant who owns him a hundred silver coins. Now that compared to 10,000 bags of gold is nothing. It's like two pence. It's nothing at all. Compared to what he owed, it's nothing, nothing, nothing. But still, this first servant having just been forgiven everything, doesn't forgive. He doesn't write off this comparatively tiny debt. It feels so completely wrong. And yet, Jesus was telling this story because he's telling us what we do if we don't forgive someone else. 
because God has forgiven us so much. It's like he's forgiven us something like 10,000 bags of gold. He's forgiven us for every time we've ever done something unkind or, or even thought something unkind, for every mean word we've ever said, for every time we've put ourselves first and ignored other people. It's for every time we've hurt someone else, every time we haven't done what Jesus would have wanted us to do. It can be hard to remember sometimes that he has forgiven us so much. And then someone else does something that hurts us. Maybe by mistake, maybe on purpose. And even though this is nothing like as much as what God has forgiven us for, when we don't forgive them, when we don't forgive them, we are acting like the unforgiving servant. Now, forgiving someone isn't always easy. And forgiving someone doesn't mean that what they did was okay, or even that you have to be their friend again if they're gonna keep being horrible to you. But if we don't forgive someone, the hurt and the anger about what they did to us stays inside us, like, like some kind of horrible pet. And every time we, we think about this thing or we get cross or upset about it, it's like we're feeding this pet and it gets bigger and bigger until it's something heavy and huge that's weighing us down and scratching us inside. But when we forgive someone, it's like we're letting this horrible pet go. We're no longer holding this thing and thinking about it in our hearts. We're releasing them and we're setting ourselves free too. Let's take a moment, close our eyes, lift out our hands. Have a think about, is there someone you haven't forgiven? And why don't we, in this moment, this quiet moment, make a decision to forgive them? Set yourself free. God can help us with that. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for forgiving me for all my sins. Please help me to forgive everyone who does me wrong. Amen. Spark kids, maybe today you have managed to forgive someone and that's amazing, well done. Or maybe there are some things that you need some help forgiving to talk to someone about it. So I'd love to invite you to talk to an adult you trust, maybe who brought you here to Spark Kids today and to pray with you and talk you through it. And remember, God loves you so much and is with you through everything. I'll see you next week. Okay, Sparky, you were listening, weren't you? You were listening, good. And what do you think that you should do after that? He says he should forgive Horatio. Yeah, good. Are you going to? Sparky? Sparky, that's not fair, is it? That's not good and you'll miss him too much. I think you should. Sparky, do you think Sparky should forgive Horatio? Are you listening? Will you do it? Yeah, okay, good. Um, shall we tell the Spark Kids about their craft and then you can go and find Horatio? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna make this awesome twisting cup thing with different faces, which can help us remember 
this story because at one point the unforgiving servant was like, please, 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 please forgive me. And then in the next moment he was like, grr, give me my money. So these two things with the different faces help us remember that story. Have fun making that and we'll see you next week. Horatio, no, what's your name? Sparky is gonna go and forgive Horatio. Bye. Thank you.